Teacher said you'll never make it. Turn my textbook to a checkbook. I put food on the table. And I did that without a cookbook. I'm rich and they fucking hate it. Alright. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Aaliyah, and I'm back with another video. If you guys hear me talking to anybody, it is. That's all you're going to do? You're, you're not going to speak? Gonna say my name. Hello. Hello. No, I just ignore her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be making a quick little video. It has to be under five minutes. I'm setting myself a goal. I'm going to tell you guys how I got a medical job in the Air Force, more specifically 4AO, or Health Services Manage Management, Health Administration Technician, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna tell you guys how I got that job. I went into the Air Force or into BMT with the open contract or open general contract. So when I went to boot camp, that means that I didn't have a job when I showed up there. I didn't get my job until I was two days from graduating. Mika, on the other hand, she has the same job as me, but she booked her job before she went to boot camp. Uh, so my recruiter basically told me that I could go in open and that would raise my chances of getting a medical job. For me, I really didn't care what job I got as long as it was medical. I didn't care. Yeah, I didn't really I didn't care what it was. I just wanted a medical job. I wanted to be in the hospital. He was like, "Your best bet is to go in open because most medical jobs are booked in boot camp." When I got there and I, I picked my jobs, there was not a lot, well, there was a good amount of medical jobs, but it wasn't half of the list that was medical. It was a good like 25, 30% that was medical jobs, and then the rest was like Intel. I think there was one, um, what is it, Ar is it architecture? What's that? Engineer. It was a couple of different things. There was definitely services on there. It was definitely security forces. Personnel. Was there personnel? No, I don't think I saw personnel on my list. Nobody in my flight got personnel from what I can remember unless they had it already. There was one girl that was open mechanical or open electrical. She was open um, mechanical, I think. And she got a whole different list than the rest of us. So technically, people the people that are in your same week they'll you'll all get this you'll all get the same list if you're in the same flight but if they're in a different squadron they'll get a different list than you like say for instance i got uh 4ao which is health administration or health services management um, and i got dental assistant on my list the other people in like the 323rd they might have got what's another they could have got 4n which is like dna basically or a nurse. Surgical. 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 Yeah, surgical services. You could have got something like that on like your list. Yeah, you could have got, you're not going to get the same list as other people in different squadrons. Really, like, sometimes a squadron can um, depend on uh, what you can get to. Like, you'll, it's like the luck of the draw, pretty much. You're gambling when you go in as open general. There's not a problem with it, but you have to go into it with a mindset that you're an airman first and regardless of what job you have, you're going to still be an airman, um, even if you don't get the job that you want. But how I got it is I went in open. I went in with the mindset that I'm going to be an airman first and I just put, I threw hope into the air that I was going to get a medical job, but I was very open-minded knowing that I might not get a medical job. Was there a medical job you was hoping for? I wanted... um. The one where you look at the heart and the lungs. What is it called? Cardiology. Yeah, I wanted um, pulmonary. What is it? Pulmonary. Is it pulmonary? Pulmonary something. It. Um. I wanted that job, but uh, you have to have like some type of um prerequisites for it, and I think I was missing like one or one of them, so I couldn't book that. But and that wasn't on my list, so. Um. So I just, I'm a little bit over my five minute mark. I'm about uh, almost six minutes. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Say bye to Mika. 
she'll be nicer next time y'all <laughs> If y'all have any questions, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below and ask it, and I'll make sure I go ahead and answer it for you. Like I said, thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.